For the seventh day of Christmas decluttering, I bring to you a 15 minute declutter. Hello, my name's Rachel and welcome to my channel. I do videos all about decluttering, minimalism and my no spend year. And we are right in the middle of our 12 days of Christmas decluttering. So far we have done some different declutter challenges. We've done some little acts of decluttering. We've done a one month challenge. Today, what I would like you to do is set a 15 minute timer and see how much you can declutter within 15 minutes. I have a couple of areas in mind that I'm going to work on today. Um, I'm going to look under the bed and I know that I have some scarves that I want to get rid of. They're kind of like thin ones that I'd never wear. So we're going to go through under the bed and see if I can reduce the amount that I have. So the first thing I need to do is get my phone and set a timer and then get started. Setting a timer for a certain amount of time is a really good way of doing short bursts of decluttering. It will help you to kind of focus in on an area or just see what you can do within a time frame without the limit of the amount of items to declutter. So you just have a time limit and you just see what you can do in that time. There's no need to rush, there's no need to kind of race around the home. You could do that if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it a game, you could have a 50 minute timer and everybody in the house works on a particular area and then you bring all the items together and you see what you've got rid of. So I'm gonna get started and set my timer. Okay, I've now set my timer and I'm gonna get everything out from under the bed. Here is the first box that I've found. I have been, I've got lots of memory things and I have photos by the looks of things. I've also found three diaries. So these are diaries that have got various dates in. I think to a degree, I probably don't need a lot of these. So I think that one can probably go. These are my bullet journals which I will keep because they've got uni information on. And this is my first Go Girl budget planner. So I will keep that one because it's nice to reflect on the financial year, but I definitely don't need to keep that one because like I said with old diaries, like how often do you actually go back and there's nothing in there. I think a lot of it is empty, to be honest. I can probably take the stickers and put them to my current diary but other than that, I'm not really gonna use this and go back through it because it was um, <laughs> 2020, the year of lockdowns. So I didn't do anything. So that's an easy one. Some certificates. Oh, I've got two of the same thing. I think I can get rid of one, didn't I? Some certificates. Photos from a wedding that we went to. <laughs> Two certificates for that. Okay, so I have got loads of photos in here. Um, that's like a memory thing from when I miscarried, so that's quite important. So this is an example of old photos, so I'm gonna go through this one now and see if I can reduce the amount that I have because actually these are all from people that I don't really see, I don't really need to keep copies of all of them. So what I will do is I will reduce down the amount I have so I can get rid of the um, album cover. Okay, I've gone through photos and I've got a nice big pile here of like duplicates or ones that are quite fuzzy. Um, <laughs> there's some great photos that are really awful. <laughs> But I've still got loads um, that I've kept because they're all particular memory ones. So I'll keep those. I've got another old diary. Again, I was keeping these because I was keeping like food diaries, but I've now completely transferred to bullet journals. So I don't I don't keep these now. Same with this one. There's just not an awful lot in it, and I just don't didn't write in it. I now use my phone calendar for most things, but I will keep bullet journals because these were quite nice. I like this, I was a bit more active with my bullet journals before where I put lots of things in and put like memory things and stuck them in. So I might do a little bit more like that, that's quite fun. Um, but I will keep those. Again, another old diary. I, I don't know why I keep them. I guess I thought I would potentially need it. Nice little self-care list in the back there. Some more tickets. Some 
I think the reality is that I won't ever look back at these. I'm only looking at it now because I'm clearing out, otherwise I wouldn't do it. So I'm gonna declutter these. This is a special mug. Experimentive mug that I was given. So that I will keep hold of that one. It's a collector's item. Right. I've got more photos in there, so I'll finish going through that in a second. But Noah's health record. Should I try to keep it? There's more photos. I think I went through those more recently. That's something I was given as baby, so that is one thing I will keep. That is Noah's little incubator hatch from when he was in the Right, I don't think I need to keep my lace. <laughs> I've got a class off 2014-15 there, I don't know that I need to keep that. Old pay slip. Not sure I really need to keep that either. Don't work there for years. That was in a photo, I think it was that one. Uh, this I was given, so I need to keep hold of that. Signed photo of Roy Hud, anyone? We've got like a nice um, card from my granddad that passed away, so that's good. These are two little things that I made when I was younger. I was really proud of my first ever book. I think I did it when I was, um, yes, three, I wanna say. I did this in year eight, I think. <laughs> I need the things to keep right. I've got more photos, so I'm going to go through those in a second. And I know I've got lots of paperwork here, so let's go through that. This is from my like first ever class. How oh, many? Right, I think I will get rid of that one. I don't think I need to keep that. This is all the work I did on my master's dissertation, which has got a notebook and various things on it. I don't even have all the notes, so I think, if I'm honest, I don't think I need to keep, I've got parts of my dissertation here. I think if I was to ever use I would just keep that. If I was to ever do a PhD, it would be on the same people. But I don't think I need to keep all of that, so that can go. Do that. More photos. It's all. In fact, again, this is what I mean by duplicates. I've got duplicates there and don't actually need to keep both, so I will chop those in half. Right, I've got photos from classes. That, although it was quite nice to keep, I think I can probably do without them, if I'm honest. These are old foreign coins, which I keep in this thing. I'm not sure why I keep it in that. I got that on holiday one year. I guess it kind of works. But... More photos, I'm going to be those in a sec. This is more sun certificates. Those that no one's ever done. So, I'll go in there. I will go through those with him and see if he actually wants to keep them because, you know, like I say, do we keep them for our reasons or for their reasons? There we 
go. Right, so I've reduced down quite a lot there. Pop that in. And I'm gonna go through these now. I've um, gone through all my photos now and I've actually found those of Spice Girls um, kind of postcard things that were like collector's things. So I might see um, if I can sell those because there might be a collector somewhere that is looking for these photos, just like random one. <laughs> I'm assuming I got them from a collection thing that you used to do. There used to be all sorts. Um, so I've done this box, I've got another box underneath so I'm going to get that one out now and see if I can sort that out. Okay, so I've got the other box, I think. I did produce this down the last summer. So I know I've got some of this. So this is a cutlery drawer organiser. I've kept it purely because it doesn't fit in my current drawer, but at some point I will have a nicer house and I'll be able to do it. And these are book stands that I would like to be able to use one day, but I can't use the things we keep, hey? And these are Noah's, like one of Noah's outfits when he was little that I wanted to keep. This little Noah's Ark, this little Noah's Ark bag. I'll put that with the other one in the other box. I've got some more photos on a disc when I did a photo shoot when I was younger. Okay. And this is where I've got like my dissertation. So that's a printout of my dissertation. I still haven't got bound. That's what I need to do. This is my memory box from when I miscarried. So I think it's just got bloods and stuff in, not that I need to keep any of that. Not sure I need to keep that, let's touch and go. Um, that's the investigations from my miscarried, and these are my photos. So I will keep those because they are really important to me. Right, I've got a selection of music now. <laughs> I love to play in this. So if I can ever get a piano again, that I will play and also this one. And these are exercise books for things. I love this song. And this one, I don't know why I've got Mary Poppins though. I think I collected it because it was an old copy. Not sure. And that one. That's it for my pension. And this looks like loads of old documentation. Right. This is old stuff that I do not need to keep. Okay, so that's empty, so I can take that one to school and probably use it. Old school diary. There's lots of things that I probably do not need to keep. I can't say I really need to keep this, it's Noah's nursery book. I will ask him. I've got some CDs, but these are like particular CDs, like the first gig I went to. And I went to see Easy World, I got them signed. That's quite cool. I've got Huddle Mud CDs. Oh, what else have I got? Photos. Theme Hospital, anybody? Thought I had that one. The first ever CD I ever bought, thinking that um, CDs won't ever catch on. Cassettes all the way. How wrong was I? My Carrie Graves tip. So, I only have a very small collection, but I do like to keep those, so these can all go back in and I need to find a way of finding my thing. So 
So dramatically reduced that down. If I show you what I have got rid of, that is everything I have got rid of here. So that's all I'm gonna go. So definitely reduced down quite a bit. So overall I spent about 15 minutes decluttering the areas underneath my bed. I've got a really big pile of duplicate photos, old diaries and bits and pieces and old certificates and things that I just don't need. So they are all going to go in the recycling now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you do a 15 minute declutter and let me know how you get on below. And I shall see you soon for more 12 days of Christmas decluttering. Take care, bye.